Welcome to Jobs and Pods, the only podcast where real employers talk about their jobs and tell you what it's like to work there. I'm your host, Chris Russell. This Jobcast will feature the Edison Engineering Development Program at GE Energy. EEDP is focused on engineering, and the program aims to develop technical problem-solving skills through advanced courses in, in engineering and technical projects that are aligned with business objectives. Today, we'll talk with Christina Crudin, Engineer, Wind Drive Component Center of Excellence at GE Energy, and get her perspective on the program. Hello, Christina. Welcome to Jobs and Pods. Hello. Good right. to be here. Okay. So um, <laughs> tell us more about why you chose GE, and uh, why did you go into the EEDP program uh, specifically? Uh, well, when looking for jobs coming out of college, uh, there are many opportunities with other companies, but I felt GE as a company aligned well with my values, uh, especially in terms of growth and development. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the opportunity to work with products that have global impact. And I, I chose the Edison program because I knew I wanted to be in a technical role, but I wasn't sure what my passion was. Uh, I viewed the program as an opportunity to explore different technologies within energy without having to be committed to any of those groups long term. And I was also looking for, or looking to further my education uh, by getting a master's degree in mechanical engineering and the Edison program covered the tuition. Gotcha. Okay. So you have a master's in engineering. Um, yeah. What was your uh, undergraduate in? Uh, I did my undergraduate in uh, mechanical engineering as well. Oh, very good. Okay. Um, can you describe the requirements for graduating from the EDP program, and what did you gain from completing the program overall? The Edison program is a rotational program, which gives young engineers an opportunity to explore their engineering passions throughout the business. Each engineer does four rotations, uh, two core design engineering rotations, one science rotation, and one services rotation. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, uh, each engineer has to complete a course, which is a 35-week intense training course focused in solving engineering problems similar to those an experienced GE energy engineer would be faced with. Um, while completing that program, you receive graduate school credit hours, and also as part, part of the program requirements, you complete two graduate level engineering courses. Other training courses include foundations of leadership, uh, two week uh, teardown school, and six certifications. And then one of the final requirements of the program is to complete a project that benefits the business, and you re- that requires you to apply the skills you learned on program. I benefited from the program in many ways um, by being able to network with the other engineers within GE Energy as well as uh, engineers in the business, just GE, thanks to those training courses. Uh, It also helps me bridge the gap between what I learned in college and real world engineering. Sounds like a lot of hard work. Um, What do you think you really like best about it? Well, the program was definitely a challenge, uh, and looking back, um, I was able to gain experience that I probably wouldn't have had if I, you know, was directly hired. I really valued the opportunity to rotate from group to group and to learn from the experienced engineers, because every group has, you know, a different technology, and you, you gain, you know, a little bit from each place you go, so that when you, you come off program, you can kind of bring you know, more diverse uh, experiences to the table. Right, right. I imagine it's kind of exciting, too, being that you're kind of working in a, in a you know, a green field here with the wind drive component, right? Yes, yeah. And, I mean, it's a, it's a great job. And uh, it's, I definitely have benefited from it because, uh, I guess, uh, wind is, is fairly new in GE, mm-hmm. and so gas turbines been around for a while. And so, you know, you, being in gas turbine, which was one of my rotations, I was able to see like a lot of the processes. And and um, coming to wind, I was able to kind of apply a lot of that stuff. Where, as if I had just you know hired into wind, I'd you know just be learning along with everyone else. Sure, so, sure. Yeah. What advice would you give to others um, if they you know are going into this program? Well, I think. Um, they need to be true to themselves and GE and the Edison program by deciding whether or not a technical career path is what they want. Um, if they're not passionate for engineering, I think you'll feel that the amount of work is not worthwhile. And then, um, so then you're, you question why you're doing it. But um, it's very tough. And even, you know, for me who, who likes engineering, you know, sometimes during the program I'd ask myself, you know, what did I get myself into? <laughs> You know, and but looking back, I can see you know how all of, all of those experiences have prepared me well, so that I can do a good job. Yeah. You know. How did your your assignment um, prepare you for the off off program job? Well, 
I really liked that at the end of each rotation, I had an opportunity to sit down with my assignment managers and discuss with them my accomplishments and my strengths and my developmental needs. And, um, you know, it's always a good opportunity for me to get an outsized perspective on how I performed. And I believe it's always important to improve yourself. Mm -hmm. And so having the constructive criticism gave me that opportunity. Um, It also gave me, you know, helped me gain confidence in my engineering ability as I completed each assignment. So by the time I came off program, I was able to take on more challenging projects and I had the initiative I needed to, you know, to, to be successful. Right. How do you get any ID assignment which might help uh, pipeline into one of the program slots? So if you if you are already an EID, um, when you return for another rotation, I think you you should let your program manager know that you're interested in working in engineering, um, and you can also eg- or note on your uh, exit form mm-hmm. what your preference would be upon coming back to um, to do your next rotation, and then um, and that that'll help you with uh, securing a challenging and rewarding t- uh, rotation. Um, so that when you go to the EID, or I'm sorry, the Edison interviews, you know, you ha- you can bring more experience to the table. Any last words of advice for current EIDs or interns or students interested in uh, in joining the EED program? I would just advise, you know, current EIDs to talk to as many Edisons in pro- as possible and um and to get a feel of what it's like because the program really it's not for everyone. It's very challenging and rewarding, but really it's rewarding if you have a passion for engineering. Right. And then, you know, for students who who don't have that network, I would recommend to think about, you know, what their passion is and make sure it lines well with the program because GE has many leadership programs and uh, finding the right one I think is very important because it can shape your career. If you end up in a program that you're not passionate for, you know, you, you won't be that successful because you're not enjoying what you're doing. And, and I think people can see that when you perform. And, you know, for those who do want a technical career path in engineering, I would definitely say that the Edison program is the best. All right. Well, that will do for this edition of Thousand Pods. Uh, Christina, thank you very much for your time today. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. To hear more GE Jobcast, just click the GE Jobs link on our site for more. You can also learn more at ge.com slash careers. Listeners can also subscribe to our Jobcast on iTunes. Just do a keyword search for jobs and pods. Thanks for listening.